Um, one of the regions where the Irish become one of the, the majority uh, populations is in the Ottawa Valley, and that's both sides of the Ottawa River. So uh, on, on the Quebec side, they settled mostly in, in Ottawa and in Pontiac counties. Uh, on the Ontario side, uh, Renfrew and, uh, and a tip of Lanark County, which is really in some ways still part of the Ottawa Valley. And again, they follow the patterns that, that most pre-famine Irish uh, demonstrated, and that was uh, they were rural, uh, they owned their own property, and for many of them it was for the first time that they owned freehold because in Ireland they would have been tenants. And uh, they worked the land in, uh, during the, the spring and summer, uh, and fall, and then in the winter they work the forests of the Upper Ottawa Valley. And so it's not surprising that when you when you look in a census, you find that an Irish household head might be listed as both farmer and forester. Again, uh, there's a good mix between Protestants and Catholics in the Upper Ottawa Valley, and they bring all of their baggage with them, except in one township on Pontiac County on the Quebec side which is settled in the early 19th century, uh, a man by the name of Prendergast is given the task of surveying Clarendon Township. Um, he is an Irish Protestant who has served in the British Army against Napoleon. He doesn't want to replicate the Protestant Catholic problems of Ireland in British North America. And so on his decision, no Catholics are permitted to settle in Clarendon Township, except for three men three who served with him in the Peninsular War and who allegedly saved his life. And they, those Catholics were allowed to, to settle in the township provided they told no other people that they were Catholic. Uh, and it was quite successful. But to this day, Clarendon Township, where the principal uh, mercantile center is Shawville, uh, still boasts several orange lodges, including Lodge 27, which has an orange roof in the middle of Shawville and still flies the Union Jack, as kind of a, a legacy of that Irish Protestant settlement uh, in the area. And there is no Roman Catholic church in Clarendon Township. You have to go to neighboring Bristol Township in order to find a Catholic church, or to Portage du Fort, which is in Litchford Township, uh, where there was also a mix between Irish and French Canadian population. So this move to the Upper Valley is interesting because you have these great synergies of culture. You have the First Nations people who are there, uh, Algonquins. You also have the Scots who move into, into the area. You have the Irish Protestant and Irish Catholic in the area, French Canadians, and eventually Germans, and by the 1870s, Kashub Poles from the Baltic. So the Ottawa Valley becomes a really interesting ethnic mosaic in Canada, even before most people thought of Canada uh, as more than just British.